Today was a big day for me on YouTube. I was recommended a video called How to Eat Ass. I don't know why YouTube algorithm recommended this to me. It must have just thought my ass eating game was lacking. I didn't type anything in that would lead to that. I was actually looking up sausage recipes when I first saw it in the recommended tab. So I thought, you know, perhaps this is just a divine sign that I need to step up my uh, rusty trombone playing. And, I, you know, I've decided let's take a gander. No harm comes from there. I'm no stranger to the art, but there's no reason not to learn a few more techniques, I suppose. How do I eat ass? <coughs> this tutorial is coming at you from Dr. Lindsay over at Sexplanations. I immediately recognized her from an older video where she taught me how to make toy vaginas. Basically just do-it-yourselves arts and crafts projects to make fuckable pussies at home. Step one, ask your partner if you can. Any interest in me licking your asshole the next time I go down on you? How would you feel if I made out with your butt while you masturbate? Have you ever had a rim job? The reason why I trust Dr. Lindsay so much, especially when it comes to ass eating, is you could see the passion, feel the passion, when she's giving these steps and this advice. This isn't some kind of boring lecture at a university or you're reading out of a textbook, step one, have you ever had a rim job? You know, there's no soul, there's no flavor in there, but when you get it from Dr. Lindsay, you can really feel the excitement with the question, and I really think that goes a long way. Step two, once you have consent, it's time to get ready. Avoid giving anything bad to their asshole and getting anything bad from their asshole. I initially thought step two of getting ready would consist of making yourself presentable for eating ass, you know? Putting on your best suit, your most prized fedora, putting some pop rocks in your mouth so that way when you're licking the butthole it starts to tingle a little bit which just adds to the sensation and the thrill ride. But actually what she goes over is the diseases that can come from eating ass and, you know, making sure you're aware to avoid those things. Equally helpful advice, but also make sure you're wearing a suit when eating ass. Step three, set a time. I'm sure you don't want to go down on someone and find a dingleberry of poop and pubes stuck in your teeth. So if you're the one with the asshole, watch your bowel movements. I like how she says if you're the one with the asshole as if the person who's licking the asshole no longer has their anus anymore. So now they're just like lost loved looking to lick as many buttholes as they can just trying to remember their own asshole that they lost somehow. I know that's not how she means it, but that's how I like to imagine it. Obviously what she's talking about is just being aware, making sure that the spider web of asshole hair doesn't accidentally catch a little bit of colon chocolate in there before analingus makes sense. Shower and wash your whole butt with soap, especially the anus and all those little crevices that make it look like a star. Stay outside though, don't go inside. Then make sure to rinse off all the soap. Trim, shave, or wax your pubes if you choose and wash again. If you're the one with the mouth, how about nothing spicy to eat that's going to burn the anus if you lick it directly? And for hygiene's sake, clean your mouth. All solid advice, nothing that caught me by surprise, nothing I didn't already know. Obviously, if you're gonna be sucking on the old septic tank, make sure it's at least as clean as it can possibly be. Last thing you'd want to do in that situation is start licking a loaded gun down there and start tasting some foul shit in your mouth. When ass is eaten properly and all precautions are taken beforehand, it should be flavorless and feel like you're licking an old man's elbow. Step four, acquire some dams for a layer of protection. They reduce the risk of all the bugs I mentioned earlier and cover up the smell and taste of asshole. And non-microwavable cling wrap. Yeah, this step's gonna be optional for a, a decent chunk of people, I imagine. I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of people in the heat of the moment being like, hold on a second, I'm gonna go grab the cling wrap. Step five, with all preparation in place, play. Play with all sorts of body parts, kiss, massage, whatever it takes to get all riled up before. Step six, when you lightly blow on the asshole. The blowing will not only light up this sensitive spot, it will waft the smell toward you so you can evaluate whether or not you want to proceed. Yeah, that, that was new information for me, so this is basically what I needed from the video, some, some new insight. I, I'd never even thought of this scientific test to evaluate whether or not the ass has been properly, you know, prepared, you know. Like a, a fine Thanksgiving turkey with enough time in the oven, you know, is it a good turkey? Uh, the simple asshole blowing test seems, I mean, to say, you know, speaking just from common sense, I imagine it'd be really effective. If you blow on a dirty butthole, it's going to smell like shit. It's going to smell like a dirty butthole. It'll smell like you're just blowing a fart in your face and you don't want to be sucking in a fart. So then you just say, hey, look, I see that you didn't give it enough time to marinate. You didn't take the precaution seriously. We're going to have to reschedule this analingus appointment. If everything is a green light, move on to step seven, add lube and put a dam in place. Add enough lube to keep things soft, but not so much that the anus thinks it's leaking. This is making this whole operation sound like a Tom Clancy game right now, like a stealth mission to fool the anus. You don't want to use too much lube using too much lube and you get like a fucking mission failed. You have like the little Metal Gear Solid thing go off. And then all of a sudden like mission failed ass thinks it's shitting. Don't literally eat ass. Unless your partner is into a poking feeling out of nowhere. Spreading the cheeks and going straight in for asshole can feel quite jarring. I personally associate it with a pelvic exam or a wedgie. 
That makes sense. You don't want to just get right up in there, just go full throttle and scare the person. It makes sense to approach with care. Once you're at the site, think licking, gentle sucking, kissing, and tickling. Even making contact and not moving at all can be incredibly arousing. The anus is densely packed with nerve endings. It's part of a concentrated area of erogenous tissue and it's slightly taboo. So there's a thrilling adventure in doing something pleasurable that society tells us not to. That statement right there kind of dates the video. The times, they have a changed, haven't they, Doctor? Lindsay. Society's telling us all the time, you got to eat ass. It's like one of the most popular sayings around at the moment. But this video came out three years ago, I believe, so it's a little behind the curb right now. I mean, you can't, you can't blame it. It's a uh, product of its time. But they have shifted, and now it's all about ass eating. Also, people that suck on asshole, those are gamblers right there. They're taking a big risk with low reward. Like, best case scenario, you sucked on a butthole, but worst case scenario, you suck in like a fart or a bunch of shit or something. Like, you're, you're really rolling the, rolling the dice. Rarely will you have a doctor recommend gentle sucking on a butthole. Like that right there. I mean, you're, you're flying real close to the sun, and you better hope your wings don't burn up when you're in, when you're in that territory. Because I tell you what, that would be an utter disaster. Step nine, check in. Come up for air and ask your partner questions. More, wetter, deeper. You could ask them open-ended questions like, how is it? But getting a yes or no answer means you're not caught up in conversation when they likely want your mouth getting back to business. Yeah, just getting smothered by ass and just fighting your way through the cheeks to come up for air and say, hey, I don't think you took cleaning seriously. My mouth's on fire. Step 10, enjoy yourself. Step 11, wash your mouth and face afterward. Step 12, then stay curious. Have the longer conversation about what it was like. Those are the 12 steps to eating ass. And I gotta say, I mean, it all makes sense. A hundred percent. I agree with Dr. Lindsay's take on the whole thing. I just don't really understand why it was recommended to me when I was looking up food recipes, but I'll fucking take it. I, I really enjoyed it, and I thought that was a very insightful look, and again, I learned all about the asshole blowing technique, which I would have never even thought to do. So, uh, yeah, uh, that, that's about it. So, yeah.